Chapter 8 He had come down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. Suddenly, a man with a virulent skin disease came up and bowed low in front of him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can cleanse me. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed, and his skin disease was cleansed at once. Then Jesus said to him, Mind you tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering prescribed by Moses. As evidence to them, when he went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him, Sir, he said, My servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. Jesus said to him, I will come myself and cure him. The centurion replied, Sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go and he goes to another come here and he comes to my servant do this and he does it when jesus heard this he was astonished and said to those following him in truth i tell you in no one in israel have i found faith as great as this and i tell you that many will come from east and west and sit down with abraham and isaac and jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven but the children of the kingdom will be thrown out into the darkness outside, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go back, then let this be done for you, as your faith demands. And the servant was cured at that moment. And going into Peter's house, Jesus found Peter's mother-in-law in bed and feverish. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to serve him. That evening, they brought him many who were possessed by devils. He drove out the spirits with a command and cured all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He himself bore our sicknesses away and carried our diseases. When Jesus saw the crowd all about him, he gave orders to leave for the other side. One of the scribes then came up and said to him, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head, another man. One of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus said, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their dead. Then he got into the boat followed by his disciples. Suddenly, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are lost. And he said to them, Why are you so frightened, you who have so little faith? And then he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. They were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? When he reached the territory of the Gadarenes on the other side, two demoniacs came towards him out of the tombs, they were so dangerously violent that nobody could use that path. Suddenly, they shouted, What do you want with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torture us before the time, now, some distance away? There was a large herd of pigs feeding, and the devils pleaded with Jesus. If you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go then. And they came out and made for the pigs and at that the whole herd charged down the cliff into the lake and perished in the water. The herdsmen ran off and made for the city, where they told the whole story, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Suddenly, the whole city set out to meet Jesus and as soon as they saw him, they implored him to leave their neighborhood.